Hi there, this is David and welcome back to the finale of Let's Play Secret of the Stars. Last time, we defeated Hamna Cruz himself. Are you dead? Oh no. So I guess all of our fathers were the last Aquatillions. But we destroyed Rimstera, that was the lab. For final boss time, I guess Hamna Cruz himself Again! Yeah, let's attack um, Tina. Let's see, keep on going with this freeze. Attack you. You're gonna cast Mirror on yourself. Dan. Uh, do we have any more mirrors? Let's see. Oh, we have one there. Let's see, two. Okay, so, yeah, you use a mirror on yourself, Dan. That's fine. Let's see, combine them. Uh, looks like I only have one more mirror that I can use, and I wanna use that on Tina. Um, I do not want her dying either. So this version of Hamna Cruz is more difficult. And I do have less mirrors, which really sucks. But yeah, he likes to create bolts and things like that, which go around the mirrors anyway. So yeah. Um, he has 6,800 HP. So we're going to be here for quite a bit of time. Cody, you attack Leona. Um, let's see, who else had a mirror? Let's see, there's that mirror. Uh, that's gonna go on Tina. Damn, I need to use a regain level two, combine these two guys, there we go. Yeah, Leona's gonna continually use mirrors on all these other people, um, because Ray, he gets those sharp hits. Tina and Cody dealing nice damage with the Ice Slash as well. That's gonna be the main source of damage against this guy. Uh, Dan is gonna be my main healer using regain level two. Um, if I need to use a higher level regain, that's fine. If I need to have somebody else also heal with using plum water, that would be Leona. Um, it is imperative that I get that done as much as possible. Let's see if there are any other mirrors that I have laying around. I don't think I have any. Just wanna check. Okay, no. Uh, just in case, I am going to have you use Plum Water, though. And you will go ahead with another Brigade Level 2 and combine these two again. So, again, this is just a battle of attrition. Keep Dan's MP up as much as humanly possible. Use Moon Drops. The person who should be using the Moon Drops is Leona. Use them on Dan. Yeah, there's that Bolt Level 3. Ooh! Hey, yeah. And the only people who don't have, um mirrors on is Dan and Cody and that's or not Dan and Cody uh, Ray and Cody and that's fine because they have the most amount of HP in order to survive these attacks anyway so I think that I'm good to go here so with that we're going to continue to fast forward Hey, we got him. Yeah. I only had to use one Moondrop, and I used it on Leona, because she was casting Bolt, too, because her 
Best Claw was dealing like 30 damage, but Bolt 2 dealt about 70 to 80 damage. So yeah, that was just better, you know, damage there. Um, Dan, by using Plum Water, uh, his Regain 2, and then using Cure Cane as an item here and there to cast Heal 2. Like, that really worked out pretty well, I've gotta say, uh, as far as conserving MP and keeping my party healed. Yeah, he only used Land 3 once, and then after that he never used another spell. So I didn't, I wasn't really able to test on whether Land 3 got rid of Mirror. I've heard that it doesn't, but I wanted to test that myself, but eh, unable to, whatever. Here, look up. Heartbeat? What is that? Now it's gone. Hey, we got rid of him. Won the battle, no experience, no gold, no nothing. Of course. That's all he has to say. The evil ruler of the world says, darn. Okay. Who will you be born into? You'll be born into humanity, our darkness and hate. I've heard this before. How did we bring you back to life? Oh, I guess our darkness and our hate will bring him back to life forever. Oh, is this Dr. Pericles, his father? Yeah. Come to the light, Carol Ann. <laughs> of course he hates him, too. I mean, he is an evil supervillain. And they died. Oh, what wouldn't a boss fight be without an explosion? This is what? Explosion number eight, nine, even more than that now. The explosion's like following us. Oh, yikes. It's gonna erupt. Holy crap. Well, I've seen that before. That happened back on a uh, hard island the first time around. I guess Heart Island's still abandoned. I mean, they couldn't possibly survive two volcanic eruptions. Oh, you're still alive? Oh, no problem. Thank you. Where the hell are you going? Wow, so he left as quickly as he came. I imagine he's going back to the future. Back to his time, back to where he's from. I don't know if that's for certain though, because no one tells us anything in this game. Yeah, the uh, translation leaves a lot to be desired. What are you doing, like restoring? Oh, you are restoring Old Hill. I didn't realize that it was that easy to return land back to the ground like that. Um, I don't know. Eh, we died, who knows, who cares. Oh. Why would we go back? Are, 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 are we from the future? Are the Aquatillians, like, brought to the past? Like, I don't even know. Ugh. This is giving me, like, Final Fantasy Legend 3 vibes with this whole, you know, coming to the past and save the future sort of thing. But, uh... Okay, so apparently the Aquatillians did come from the future in another world. Not even this world's future, just an entirely different world. Although we didn't know that until the ending of the game. What would make you say that? Yeah, let's just wait around for something that's never going to happen. Makes a whole lot of sense. Okay. Oh, it's Ray's father. But isn't Ray's father dead? Aren't all their fathers dead? 
Or are they just sent here through, like, visions? I don't know. This is so bad. It's so bad. Oh. So we did decide to come back here. Randomly enough. Let's abandon our world and our family. To come back to these ungrateful asshole kids. Sure. So, yeah, that's it. That's the ending. That's it for Secret of the Stars. Whew! What a great game that was! God almighty. The graphics sucked. This thing came out in 1995, and these graphics could have been done on the, N on the NES. I mean, this is horrible. There are better graphics on, on Dragon Warrior 4 and the first Final Fantasy, for God's sakes. It's just ridiculous. The one redeeming factor... Shoot that guy, this translator. Good God almighty. Um, the one redeeming factor of this game was the sound. I like the music. That's about it. That's that's like about the only good thing I could say about this game was the music was okay. The story? Complete nonsense. Completely nonsensical. Um, like you never knew what was going on because the translation was just so, so bad. It was horrible. The challenge factor, I will say... Pretty hard game. Yeah, especially if you're using the Castera. I mean, yeah, uh, the two-party system, it was innovative. No other game has ever done it. And there's a reason why no other game has ever done it. Because nobody wants to level up two parties. You barely want to level up one party, let alone level up two parties. Like, who has time for that? No one has time for that. Which made it pretty challenging and yeah we're already through the credits because so few like what was it five or six people actually worked in this game like nobody worked in this game because it's so terrible like my god um i can't even get through my freaking review so there was a good amount of enemies um one of the things that i'm gonna knock it on though was you didn't know what the magic spells did i mean some of it was pretty self-explanatory but like the hell did mirror two do you know who knows or the land spells give me a break how the hell are you supposed to know all this crap? Nothing te nobody tells you anything. So I wish that there was some in-game explanation for all that, but yeah. That's it for Secret of the Stars. I guess the UFO is going back home, but we're staying back on Earth? I don't know. I have no idea. Like, this game gave no sense of completion whatsoever, and now the music just stops. That's just lovely. So, yeah. I guess, uh, oh. Look at this. There's more. Oh, okay. So there is some sort of wrap-up to this. Who knew? We're actually in our house. Do we get to know what happened to the residents of Heart Island? What about Miss Sonya? Do we get to know anything about that? No! We don't! We don't get to know anything. There really is no closure whatsoever. It's just terrible. Oh, and remember at the, um, at the beginning of the game, whenever uh, Ray was coming up to Uncle Save and said, Hey, you know, I really want to know that story. You know, oh, I'll tell you a story. This is the story. This is the best story I've ever heard! Yeah, that's what this is. Good lord. Could you imagine reading this as a story? My god. In all caps lock and everything. <laughs> It would just, ugh, so terrible, so bad, my god, so bad. Anyway, I actually, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm shitting all over the game, I really am, but I had a good time with it. It was fun, it was different. Um, it's kind of like Beyond the Beyond. There's a certain charm to games like this. Uh, it's, it's indescribable, I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but I like games like this, I like terrible games not that i think it's i mean it's pretty damn terrible but i mean it's not like it's a sports game that's even worse you know come on but yeah um there's just something about it something something that i like about it i don't know what it is anyway see you guys in the next let's play